right, we're going to make a slightly different version of shepherd's pie. So I have these sausages, and I just take them out of their casing. And this is hot and spicy Italian. <clears throat> and then over here, I'm going to start some boiling water. There we go. So I can start making a stuffing. And we'll put the stuffing down. But first, we'll take the sausage out of here. We'll put the stuffing down and we'll put the sausage down. And then we'll put the vegetables down. And then we're going to make a dough like like biscuits. And we're going to put that on top. And then we're going to cook it in the oven. And it's going to look so pretty. And it's going to taste scrum diddly -amptious. All right, my sausage is done. This just came to a boil. I'm going to take the stuffing. I'm going to pour it in there. I'm going to kill my heat. I'm going to mix this in here. Usually I'll use chicken broth or I'll take some bouillon and put it in with the water. But because we're going to have so many flavors already going on <clears throat> with the shepherd's pie, I decided to just use plain water. All right, I took the sausage out, put it on a bowl. And now I'm going to take my stuffing, pour it into here. <clears throat> Mush that down and around in the bottom of that pot there. All right. Take my sausage. Put that there. I'm gonna grab my bag. I forgot it over here. All right. Here is my lovely bag. Uh, vegetables from Aldi, but I love to stock up on every time they are on sale. <clears throat> it makes making soups and stews and things like this just so much easier. All right. There's that. Pretty much the vegetables are cooked. They're just frozen. So I'm going to put the lid on this while I bring you over and we make the, the topping. This is kind of like a biscuit recipe, except we're going to put it on top of the shepherd's pie. So I'm going to use two cups of flour. There we go. Right. <clears throat> Madison is going to be so mad at me because she likes making the biscuits. This is like her recipe. She knows exactly how to how to do it and how to make it. She gets everything out and she is ready to go. <clears throat> Need some salt. Again, it's it's not pink Himalayan salt. Himalayan salt. It is um, Redmond's real salt. I just keep using the bottle over and over again. some pepper, <clears throat> put in some garlic, all right, and I'm going to take a really, really cold stick of butter. I told Nathan to go downstairs and grab me butter last night. He was like, okay, and I said, put it in the refrigerator, and he was like, okay, except he put it in the freezer. So it is really cold. I usually like to take it right out of the refrigerator and do this. I don't think I'm going to be able to mush this right out of the freezer, though. Oh, it 
went poof. I'll get back to you in a few minutes on that. All right, I was able to mush it all in. I won. Exciting. Now we're going to take one-ish cups of milk and kind of make this soupy. I'm going to start with one cup, leave a half a cup in there. it together. Right. And add some more. I want it kind of of a, a wet consistency. It will make it more of a softy, crunchier type of up. I'm doing the biscuit type of top because I said we're running low on potatoes and I have a dinner plan next week for potatoes and I don't want to use them all. So, dough. I brought the pot over here. My oven is preheated at 450. The vegetables have almost defrosted. Here is my dough biscuit batter. I'm gonna have to get a spatula to get all this out. So put that on top and spread it out. Like so. I'm gonna get a spatula and finish that off. But then you just put your lid back on and you pop it in your oven because everything's already cooked. You're just waiting for the biscuit dough to finish. So it'll probably be about 15, 20 minutes. Molly the cat. 